a lot of people who are working to make our community better and safer. This week, we've been reporting on some of the solution based approaches that the city of Richmond and community members are using to find a way to stop crime and gun violence. Groups like the Broken Men Foundation are helping to keep young people from trouble. Ellery Lundy, a former sheriff's deputy, started the foundation in 2014 after his career in law enforcement. He used his own money to start the program and it's paying off in a big way for many young men. Here's my special RRVA report, all new at six. Just because you've been broken doesn't mean that you stay broke. Class is in session at Richmond's downtown YMCA. Good job, Denaz. Good job. Good job, son. Good job. Good job. Good job. A team effort is underway to keep kids out of trouble and to improve their lives. These young men are being productive and proactive. I mean, literally, they're paying these guys to swim. The YMCA's grant funded program rewards swimmers with money when they reach certain milestones. It's a win win. It's a win win. So that's the part I enjoy. This class may be vital for some of the participants. According to USAswimming.org, 64% of black children have low or no swimming capabilities compared to 45% of Hispanic children and 40% of white children. A report from the CDC states that black children ages 10 to 14 have a 7.6% higher risk of drowning than any of their counterparts. According to research, economics, race, and fear play a role in these unfortunate numbers. But programs like this are helping to close the disparity gap. So this gives them opportunity to now to swim. Ellery Lundy is the founder of the Broken Men Foundation. He created the organization eight years ago and works to connect kids ages 10 to 17 to life-changing resources and experiences like this swim class at the YMCA. I want to make sure that some of these young folks are better husbands, better fathers better uncles, you know what I mean? Leaders in the community. Lundy, along with several dozen men in Central Virginia, volunteer as mentors. We have different different backgrounds, but come together, come together for one common cause to make the program work, and I'm so thankful for them. They are making an impact. My mom told me about it, and I said, okay, this might be fun for me. And I learned everything from it, like how to be a man. I joined it because since I don't have like, a father figure around, um, and my mom also wanted me to try it out too to see what what it was like. Lives are changing. Cause you know when I joined, I was just cutting up. Like I was cutting up in school, but now like when I understand my purpose and everything and what I want in life, I, like I'm, I came more relaxed in school and not really doing much really. Lundy says about 240 young men have graduated from the program. Many of them have gone on to attend college and earned good jobs. <laughs> He says a majority of the kids make some kind of transformation. He's only had to remove one person from the program. You know, I got emotional about it because I was like, I, I feel like when you come here, if, if, if I can't reach you and I can't talk to you, you can't deal with nobody. It's that compassion that led Lundy to this mission in his retirement. He served as a sheriff's deputy in Richmond for 25 years, and he witnessed a lot of trauma. You see families being ripped apart. You see a lot of kids crying. You see fathers go to jail. You see mothers go to jail. We thought about this, and I was like, what can I do when I retire? What can I do? His commitment to finding solutions for others has been equally beneficial for him. This has been the best thing ever reaching back and giving them an opportunity to, to move forward. Which way do you want to go? Lundy was able to expand his program this summer thanks to funding from the city. Normally we just do the mentorship for like 16 to 20 weeks and then we just kind of take a little hiatus and go to our outreach program. But since the funds and we were blessed to have this, it allowed us to, to continue our mission on uh, in the community. He says this is just the beginning. There is more work to do and there is a part for everyone to play. Hey. It takes a village to raise this one child. A team effort that could change lives and greatly improve our community. So whatever it takes, we have to get in the fight collectively to make these things work. Good job. And you can find a link to learn more about the Broken Men Foundation posted with this story on our website. And while you're there, you can also read more of our coverage on Richmond's efforts to stop gun violence.